Hey everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have another part of Supernatural and we are starting off with this random old man like over here playing the guitar on a lot. I don't know where he came from. Uh, so this is Rainflower Ivy apparently is his name. So we're going to go ahead and get him to stop playing and ask him to leave. Uh, but yeah, that was how we're starting this part off. But I hope you're all having a lovely day. This part may be a little bit shorter than normal, we'll see. Because I'm filming this the night before that it uploads, and I don't typically do that. So, we'll see. But yeah, so here's this, like, random old man. Just kind of, you know, chilling out here. Um, pets are doing the thing, you just went to the bathroom. And Freya is actually already in bed, she was exhausted. We also have some random, like, horses out here. So, we've got a couple of wild horses... And we'll just, you know, alright, so it is actually now baby time at 1.15 in the morning. So, as you can see, her energy was almost all the way up. Um, because she was in bed for quite some time. She was, like, super tired, so I went to let her go to bed. And I guess it's a good thing I did. Because I thought we had one more day left for the baby. But here we are. I do want to go ahead and get a picture. Which it's probably not going to be the best, but, you know, we'll make it work. And we're going to go ahead and let Isaiah take Philly to the hospital. Alright, so we have a baby girl. So she was born with the loner tree. I'm going to name her Lilith. I just feel like that's really cute. Um, and then we'll just randomize her second tree. So she is excitable. And alright, there we go. So it looks like we actually only had one baby. Um, now the main question is, are they a witch? Let's see. So it doesn't look like it. It looks like Lilith is just like a normal human. Alright, so we are back and I just noticed that this precious baby is asleep in here. But this is a little nursery for right now. Uh, she's over here in the shower just kind of getting ready for the day. And we're gonna go ahead and let her, you know, take care of her daughter, of course. So I have her kind of set up for food for Lilith and then uh, she's gonna go ahead and rock with her. And then I think we're going to go ahead and let her get some food because she's also getting very hungry. Uh, looks like we have an imaginary friend. So, you know, that's always fun. But, like, look at how cute this room is. I didn't even really decorate, like, the wallpaper or anything. This is just how the room came. And, well, like, I placed it on the furniture. But, like, it's so cute. Um, in the, I think it was the last video, I have a download link for the house because I got it off the exchange and I feel like it's just very cute and I it fits the vibe of this family perfectly we're gonna pretend that the rocking chair is not going through the wall but we're just gonna let her go ahead and walk with her gets her fun up as well which is really nice and I think it is so cute that Scout is just like in his sleep like out of all the places in this house that Scout could have picked and she decided to go to sleep in here like I feel like that's just too cute so, we're just going to go ahead and let these two finish up. I was going to get some pictures, but Freya's hair is actually too long and covers Lilith's face, so that doesn't work. But it looks like Lilith's in a pretty good mood, so we should be able to go ahead and do some stuff and get ready for, like, our day. And not have to worry too much. Probably just going to have her practice magic quite a fair bit, because I want to get up to the point that we have that charm. Just because trying to find all the stuff when it comes to the elixirs... It's a little bit time consuming and just, I don't know. I feel like it's always good to have a backup plan for it. So we'll see how it goes, but we're going to go ahead and let her eat some mac and cheese. And we're just going to kind of hang out, practice some magic. I don't really know what else. I'll probably cut all of that out if I'm completely honest. Just because I feel like that gets really boring. But I also, I think I want to turn Isaiah into a supernatural. So, out of all of these, I don't want to do vampire because that's kind of boring. I'm kind of feeling like wolf, well, like werewolf could be cool. So, we need silver, moonstone, and wolfsbane. I believe we have everything but the moonstone. So, we're going to be on a hunt for that as well, I guess. Unless we can somehow get lucky and find the elixir in the... Is it the consignment store, possibly? One of those. And now she wants to turn this into a toad, which I think is kind of funny. Because she's meant to be, like, good. 
Um, looks like Scout is now over here, you know, growling at the male person, which is unfortunate. It looks like she also needs a toy and a lot of her needs taken care of. So Shadow is actually the same way, but is going to go ahead and use the litter box, which is fine. And we're going to go ahead and get some mail and just kind of see what we kind of get up to. Um, I do want to take care of the pets because obviously Scout needs a bath and they both need some social. There is actually a toy like right here. So how about you come over here and chew this one instead of pulling out another one. And then I'll cue her up a little bit just to kind of take care of herself. Um, you are already going to the bathroom. You want to chase Freya, which we can probably do. Um, you're doing okay. You need like a diaper change here soon. Maybe by the time your mom gets up here, I doubt it. But we can try, and we can also let the animals have some time to go ahead and take care of their own needs. You look like you could also maybe use some food. So, how about you come over here and eat? And you need to use the bathroom, actually. So, we're going to go ahead and let you finish chewing on your toy, and then you can come over here and go pee. All right. I feel like these animals cause more chaos than my sims do. But I'm very excited to see what Lilith looks like when she's older. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to change her diaper again at some point. But I'm going to go ahead and help with her social need here a little bit. So we'll go ahead and snuggle with her and play with her. We'll snuggle her again. And then by that point, we should probably have to actually do the proper diaper change. I also gave her the cute little witch bear because her mom's a witch, so I felt like, you know, it worked. But okay, so you're queued up and good to go there. You are eating, you are going to the bathroom. You didn't get your destruction up all the way. So we're going to go ahead and chew on this toy once again. And then I will let you eat. Because I feel like Shadow, or not Shadow, this is Scout. I feel like with Scout as like a little elderly pup, that... The destruction goes down, like, a lot quicker. I don't know if that actually is how it works or not, but that's how it feels. So, when you're done all that, you can put her back to bed. And you're at work. You're doing good. You are going to go ahead and get some food. Uh, you need some social. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and beg Freya. Oh, there's no food left over here. That makes sense. Okay, so we'll come over here and fill up the food bowl so we can go ahead and feed a Scout. And then I think we're going to go ahead and help with Shadow's social here a little bit. So we'll come out here and just queue up some interactions with her as she's over here just, you know, scratching away. And then we should be good. So we'll go ahead and, like, talk to her. Um, we'll let her sniff her hand. You know, just eat some normal kind of affectionate things. Maybe see if she wants a treat. You can go ahead and eat now, and then we will give Scout a bath afterwards. Okay. We might be good with three interactions. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to also go ahead and praise for being non-destructive. Because, you know, it's always a good treat to have for your pets. You are eating, which is great. I love how Scout, like, sticks a paw, like, in the food bowl. She is precious. Uh, you're just finishing up work. I actually want you to go ahead and check the consignment stores and the elixir stores over here. Just out of pure curiosity to see what they have. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. We'll come over here and buy and take a look. And then we will also do the same thing over here. Because I want to see if they have the moonstone and possibly silver just in case we don't have it. Okay, and then we'll hop back over here. Perfect. So everybody's kind of queued up to do something. And we'll just kind of, you know, see how this goes. So I'm hoping they have something. You Oh. Well, that's great. So it looks like we actually need to go ahead and give it Shadow... A flea bath as well. Everybody's going to end up with fleas. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. And then we'll go ahead and bath Scout. Um, I know Scout needs the bath kind of a little bit more. But I also really don't want everyone having fleas. Is their relationship not good? Uh-oh. I don't think they have a good relationship. Oh, they have like no relationship at all. Okay. 
I went ahead and cheated the relationship just so that not everybody gets fleas. I feel like there shouldn't be a restriction for that. And I believe there's actually a mod. Um, we have some nectar in here. We have some paintings. Hygienator. Mercury. Okay, so there's nothing here that we need. Nothing we can consign either. And we'll see what is at the actual elixir store. While Shadow goes ahead and gets a bath. And then when you get home, I'm going to let you come up here and interact with her. So we'll go ahead and give her a bottle. And just kind of, you know, see how everything kind of works out. I was going to get him to lock with her too, but it looks like I can't do that if he's not on the lot. So we're going on upstairs, giving the cat a bath. Then we got to give the dog a bath. It's going to be like a very busy moment, but it should be okay. All right. I honestly, like, I'm obsessed with this house. I feel like this is the cutest thing. I did replace the bathtub. All right, so that game decided that it was going to crash. But while I was playing offline to kind of catch up to where we were at, um, Scout found some Tiberium. So there's that. And I upgraded her wand, so now she has the iridescent one. And we were working on playing with magic. So we actually have the sunlight charm now. So we should be able to start making some good progress when it comes to her lifetime wish. But we don't have a full moon for another three days. So we might take a little bit, but it should be okay. Alright, so I am having my sims come out and collect some stuff here. Um, I did actually end up getting the collection helper. So we're going to go ahead and see. Isaiah just earned 57 simoleons because I went ahead and reset the town. Just in case that was why I was having some lag. Um, and my game being kind of messy. Speaking of messy, he just got a promotion to mess hall server. But I'm hoping we can possibly find some moonstone. Now, I tried to Google it to see what it looks like, so I wasn't sending my sims all over the place. But I cannot find a picture of it on Google. I don't know what it is. I just, I can't seem to. So... I'm going to let Isaiah also come out and collect some things just because it is so much and rocks and gems are on the same thing for the collection helper, which is kind of unfortunate because you never know if you're getting like a rock or a gem. Um, obviously you can tell the difference, but I'm just going to collect everything just to be safe and we'll kind of, you know, just see what we can get. Um, this looks like a space rock, but we'll get it anyways, I guess. And maybe we'll come over here too. I don't see anything. Oh, it's back in like the trees. I see. Okay, so you can also come and pick this up. This is either a bloodstone or a ruby. He also just canceled out every interaction I had for him. So that's fun. Um, Come get the space rock. I also don't know why he has... Ooh. Okay, so Freya actually just ended up finding the moonstone so that's great all right so we can go home and we can go ahead and make the werewolf elixir now i believe so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do i believe we should have everything i am gonna sell this space rock just because you know some more money is always nice so we're coming to the backyard here the babysitter is leaving and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can make the werewolf elixir I'm hoping we can. Fingers crossed that we can, because I would love to turn Isaiah into one. Uh, have all ingredients. Oh. Did I not give you... Okay, so we actually do have some silver in his inventory, so I'm going to transfer that to her. And then we should be able to mix that elixir now. I hope. Um, okay, have all the ingredients. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and make this elixir right here. And we're gonna just going to fast forward through this a little bit. Um, you can come home and go like right here so that I can see when I know that you're home. And then we can get the transformation for him to become a werewolf. Because I do have the hybrid mod installed. So I... It's not something I've ever played with because as you know, Supernatural is not really my thing. 
but I want to see what it's like to have a hybrid sim. So that's why I want to transform him into a werewolf and see if we can kind of get like a hybrid of a werewolf and a witch. So I'm going to change him into his everyday outfit. And we're just going to go ahead and let Freya finish this up here. I'm assuming we should be done now, I guess. Okay, cool. So she just made three bottles. I don't think we need that many, but let's go ahead and throw the elixir at Isaiah, I guess. I'm assuming this would work. I don't know why it wouldn't. Okay. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time, but this one's also kind of a little bit more rewarding because we actually had all this stuff to do it ourselves, unlike when I was doing the witch's brew for her. So now we've kind of experienced it both ways, which is nice. It looks like he's trying to go- oh, never mind. I was going to say it looks like he's trying to go inside, but he is turning around, so we're going to actually do this out here. So I'm going to go ahead, see if I can get a proper angle and pause this at a good time so that I don't end up missing it. That's going to take too long. Let's just zoom in this way. And I also want to make sure that all of the walls and everything up on the house. Um, okay, it looks like they're perfect. So here we are. I'm assuming this is going to work. He seems happy about it. So I mean, maybe that's a good thing. I'm going to double check really quick. If I give him one of the Alexas, I believe it should say... Okay, yeah, so it says that he can't use it on himself. So I'm assuming that means that it worked. I'll give that back to her. And I want to see something, if we mix it into a drink, what it does. But there we go, so he's become a werewolf, so it did work. Um, so we might actually have to maybe start a pack or something like that. I don't know if I want to keep him. But, okay, so it just says, like, mysterious drink. I'm not going to have to drink it, obviously. So I'm actually going to go ahead and sell the other one as well because we don't need it. And some extra money is always nice. All right. So I think we're going to go ahead. I have a feeling this probably isn't going to work. But I want to go ahead and see if I can get these two to try for a baby. Alright, so I'm letting them go ahead and try for the baby. She does age up here pretty soon in two days. So it's probably not going to work until she ages up. Just because, you know, you can't be pregnant and age up in this game for some reason. So I have a feeling that's probably how it's going to go. But I'm going to let them go ahead and try anyways. Plus they could probably both use the fun. So we'll go ahead and let them do that. But I'm really excited about having a different type of supernatural because I love playing with her and like focusing on her stuff. But just, I don't know, the idea of having like a hybrid baby is a lot of fun to me. So these two are going to go ahead and woohoo here. Um, my furnace is turning on, so I apologize if you can hear that. But we're going to go ahead and let these two woohoo. We're going to listen for that little jingle, but again, I have a feeling it's not going to work. So let these two do their thing either way, and then they can probably go ahead and get some food. But I feel like we've been fairly productive so far, which is nice. Um, at least with, you know, getting her spell casting, is that what it is, up to the point that it needs to be. And just kind of, you know, making it work. But I didn't hear a jingle, so I'm going to assume that it probably didn't work. Looks like Lilith is in a good mood. You can get some food. But I'm going to go ahead and double check with her just really quickly. Um, just in case my game... Okay, no. So she is not currently pregnant, which is okay. But I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically six days a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on. And thumbs up this video if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye lovelies! Thank you.